Oh, righty then, fire. Just popped in as I'm going past the fireies. Why are they attracted? Why are they attracted to fire? Well, they're chronically inflamed. So they need to see it in the mirror in front of them to reflect and their body gets all hot and steamy and all the problems with fire and an eruption. You end up with so many fires that you get an eruption. And then they say, you know, you got all the dry skin and you got problems in your intestines and you're always interfering in everything because your mind thinks you know what you're doing, but it's just clouded by all the, the steam and the smoke that comes up of having... If we've got fire in the solar plexus, which is overdoing it, which all fire people do, because I used to as well, we get all gastroesophageal reflux disorder, or we get a lot of air and steam coming up from our massive fire that's a fucking inferno. And as a result, we have a clouded perception because we think we know what we're doing but we're really only getting half the picture because we've only got half our body and our nervous system and the subtleties of the body are actually online only half and, the, and that's without the real power centers so what we're really doing is down below is what fuel are we burning generally for fire people we're burning urinary tract infections and storing them and becoming more acidic and putting mucus and mucus and acidity means it's just going to destruct because it's just going to eat away at any goodness that if there's any that gets to that particular part in the intestines and the, the um, coccyx or this area, which is our power centers, our base, our foundation. And we're being cannibalized by our food choices because we don't know it. We're just on fire because that's what fire people do. We think we're great, but we burn out because we can't feel anything from our kidneys below. So we don't realize how scared and how bad a condition our adrenals are in. I.e. how many personal trainers do you know that have burned out and got uh, all sorts of problems with their kidneys. And, yeah, it's, you've got your knee to the bottom half of the body. That's where all the gunk is, and that's the fuel that we're burning. That's why we all have shit thoughts and emotional problems because we're stuck in that area. We just can't feel it. That's the tricky part. You need someone who knows. Ha ha ha! Fire! Oh, the other thing is the hero uh, archetype also fits into the fire guys because. They want to look like superhuman, superman. I want the hero archetype so girls can worship me. I'm big and strong and powerful and on fire, looking shiny and light. Look at me. Yeah, sounds like Superman, doesn't it? We all want to be Superman at heart, especially though in a little inner child that loves to be superheroes. Save the day and get the girls. Totally. We all want that at every age. So what does that really represent? It represents super consciousness because that's super fire in the five element theory. And then when we stand out and be a hero and we're on fire and bright and shiny and light, maybe like Jesus or the Christ light, all these different, same words, same concept, but same concept, right? Yeah. But what we really need to do is calm and cool and align the fire, and then you are the perfect portal for the fire and the potentiator for the fire, which is super consciousness to come in through you, but it'll only come to you when your body is strong enough. Yeah, you have to be able to accommodate the fire, otherwise it's just going to burn up. And that's what people say when they have a Kundalini release and they think that they get all scared that Kundalini is all scary. Ah, it's just showing you your kidney fear. you got to fix that. Simple, really. It's just perspective. When you're above it, you're going through it, you know. So, super fire. Let's get some more super consciousness.